Okay, hello again guys with another video. Uh, this is question number four of this evening and it's about shape and space was sent by Ali. And I'm gonna read the question and analyze it with you so before we can find the solution for the request. <clears throat> uh, the question is saying that you have a total surface of area of a solid hemisphere. So when I say hemisphere, I'm talking about a shape that looks like a half of a sphere. This is what is represented as hemisphere. It's one of the 3D shapes. And he's saying that the total surface area of this solid hemisphere is equal to what? Equal to the curved surface area of a cylinder. So when I say a cylinder, this is the cylinder. The cylinder has three surface areas. It has this as a surface area, which I don't care about much. And it has this one. This one is the curved. Sorry for the bad handwriting. <laughs> I'm gonna try. This is the curved surface area. And it says that the total, total, I'm going to change the color coding here, the total surface area here is equal to the curved surface area here. So since I know that they are equal, I need to demonstrate how I can find them. Uh, <clears throat> the idea when I talk about hemisphere, you need to understand that this is representing R and this is representing the height of the half of a sphere and also at the same time it's referring to as R. So you need to understand it's a radius as well. So when I want to find the total surface area, I have two parts here. I have this side here. And you know that this is representing a circle. So the surface area of this part is pi r squared. Now let's talk about this part here. What is the surface area of this one? The surface area of this part is representing the, uh, the perimeter of this hemisphere multiplied by the height, which is represented as r. So we refer to it as 2 pi r multiplied by another r, which is going to be equal to 2 pi r squared. So when I try to say what is the total surface area of this hemisphere, total surface area is going to be equal to what? Equal to 2 pi r squared plus pi r square and they are equal to what actually to 3 pi r square this is the, the part related to the hemisphere now we reach it a conclusion here uh, there is another trick in the question guys uh, it's saying that pay attention to this the radius the radius of the cylinder is twice the radius of the hemisphere what is the meaning of that? It means that I'm gonna. This is uh, my cylinder now, so I'm gonna deal with it. This cylinder has an R and it has an H. I know that this is referring to as H, the height of this hemisphere, uh, this cylinder, sorry. So let's talk about the curved surface area. What about the curved surface area? I need to find the curve here. How do I find it? It's actually representing the multiplication of the perimeter with the height. So it's going to be equal to what? Equal to 2 pi r. This is the perimeter multiplied by h. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is two things here. Actually, is one of them is the very important part that this r here, it has to be translated into a term that 
meeting with the R of the hemisphere because it said that the R of cylinder is actually equal to two R's of hemisphere. It means that when I want to represent the R of the cylinder, I need to change this into 2R, if you got what I'm, I'm saying. Okay, so this R here is going to be equal to 2R, which is actually the radius of the hemisphere. This is the thing that, this is one of the tricks in this question. So you need to pay attention to that. So now what do I need to do? I need to, I'm going to make some space here. We don't need this much so I just need this equation and this equation now I need this equation and I need this equation I know that they are equal to each other okay because this is what the question is suggesting it say that these two are equal to each other and I need to use this information when you read the question guys you always need to solve it step by step so you read the question and you solve you try to figure out what the question is trying to to tell you so now I have 3 pi r square, which is actually the total surface area of the hemisphere, is going to be equal to what? Equal to 2 pi, and don't forget, we said this is not an r anymore, it's 2 r. This is actually the r of the hemisphere, you got my point? So this is 2 r because we said the r of the radius of the cylinder is twice the radius of the hemisphere multiplied by h so we try to simplify the form so we can figure out what we can get from this uh, algebraic expression equal to 2 pi actually we can say 2 r h so this is 3 pi r square equal to 4 pi r h it seems that i can get rid of a few things here i can get rid of the pi i can rid of the pi i can rid of one r here and i can get rid of the square here so the resulted thing here after the, doing the cancellation i have three r equal to what equal to four h it seems that I can have an expression that has H as a subject. So it seems that here we can have H by making H subject. H is going to be equal to 3 over 4 R. Okay, so this thing you need to keep it in mind because you're going to use it at some later stage. Now let's get back to reading the question here. Now the part that you need to solve after that is this. Given that the volume of the hemisphere ratio to the volume of the cylinder is 1 to m, he wants you to find the m value. So what is the idea now? We are dealing with volumes now. All I need to know right now is this. I'm going to draw the volume. I'm going to draw the hemisphere again. We have a hemisphere here and we have a cylinder here. Why I'm drawing them? Because I need to hemisphere, and here we have cylinder. Okay. What is the volume of the cylinder, if you remember? The hemisphere, actually, sorry, the hemisphere now. We're going to talk about the hemisphere. Uh, I'm going to write what is given here. It said that the volume, I'm going to read the question carefully saying the volume of the hemisphere is one to m. volume of the hemisphere so what is the given uh, information the volume of hemi to the volume of cylinder is actually the ratio of 1 to m and he wants you to know what m is equal to so we're going to work it step by step by trying to figure out how we can represent the volume of the hemisphere and the volume of the cylinder. The volume of the hemisphere, I uh, you know that the volume, uh, how you can do it easily, you know that the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 over 3 
pi r cube. This is a fixed rule, okay? So the half of the sphere is going to be the hemisphere. So the half of this, the multiplication of half of, half of this is going to give you the volume of the hemisphere. So 2 with this 2. It seems that it means that the volume of the hemisphere is equal to what? 2 over 3 pi r cube. This is the first thing that we concluded now. Now to the volume of the cylinder. The volume of the cylinder is a little bit easier and the volume of the cylinder is equal to actually the area of this circle which is pi r squared multiplied in h. Okay. This is the first thing and this is the second thing that we've done. And don't forget, we have this information saying that h is equal to 3 over 3 quarters of r. We're going to use all of these informations. You have this piece of information here, which is very important. And you have this piece of information now, the volume and this. So you can use, uh, figure out the m. Now we're going to represent the ratio between the volume and the hemisphere to the cylinder, step by step. So it says that here that the volume of hemisphere is going to be equal to 2 over 3 pi r cube equal to what? Or actually as a ratio to what? As a ratio of the volume of the cylinder, which is pi r squared h. Now the thing that I need to get rid of the h here, as you can see, the only thing that it's annoying us is we are trying to get rid of it so we can have equal variables on both sides of the ratio. So we're going to convert it here to what the H saying is equal to. You got the trick now. So now H, I know that it's 3 quarters of R. So what is the meaning of that? It means that 2 over 3 pi R cubed is going to be a ratio of pi R squared multiplied in 3 quarters of R. And don't forget, this ratio is representing the ratio of 1 to M. But this part is not important right now. I need to try to simplify this part here. So 2, I'm going to try to simplify. Actually, the, the side of the hemisphere is simplified. The only thing that the side of the cylinder requires some attention of us. If you remember, we said that the R, do you remember what the question is saying? Saying that the R, the radius, the radius, I'm talking about the radius, this R, the radius of the cylinder is actually 2R. Why is the 2R? Because the 2R of the hemisphere. You need to keep, pay attention to these details because this one needs to be changed here. Sorry, not this one. It's actually the cylinder one. So the pi r here, we need to change it. We need to pay attention to the part of the cylinder because the trick is there. So we're going to say pi r squared, which is 2r. This means that it's going to be 2r squared multiplied in 3 over 4r. Okay. Now we have to go along this part here. So as I say, 2 over 3 pi r cube is going to be equal to what? We're going to try to simplify this part. 2 squared, this part here is going to be equal to 4 r squared. So it's going to be 4 r squared pi 3 over 4 R. Everything is multiplied in everything. So we try to simplify it to saying that this R squared with this R, they're going to result into R cube, right? So it's going to be 4 pi. Sorry, we're going to try to take all the variables close to each other. So 3 over 4 multiplied in 4 multiplied in pi 
multiplied in r square multiplied in r so it means that this is equal to 12 over 4 pi r cube and don't forget the side that this is equal to 2 over 3 pi r cube now we need to do cancellation to simplify our conclusion pi is going to be removed with the pi the r cube is going to be removed with the r cube it means that what is left is going to be 2 over 3 is a has a ratio of 12 over 4 see how it's getting closer now so this ratio is going to be a ratio we need to simplify it if we can it's a ratio of 2 over 3 to actually 3 because we gonna do a highlight cancellation of this 4 has 1 and this has 3 so we end up by 3 over 1 now this part here is gonna be what we said that the ratio of this of the volume of the hemisphere is 1 to m if you remember right so what is the meaning of this the meaning of this that 1 as a ratio of m is actually it's the same as the ratio of 2 over 3 uh, to 3 so what do I do with this I try to make a relation by dividing dividing what dividing every side with the side that is equal to so I say 2 over 3 so it means that I'm gonna convert I'm gonna convert ratio to division process okay simply is this so we say that 2 over 3 divided by 3 is actually the same as 1 divided by by m so we are converting the ratio in terms of division and the side to the left is going to be 2 over 3 uh, when you divide it by 3 it means that it's the same as a multiplication of the reciprocal equal to 1 multiplied 1 over m so now it means that the left side is going to be equal to 2 over 9 is actually equal to 1 over m since this is representing 1 over m you know that we can flip flip the denominator with the denominator so m over 1 is the same m over 1 is the same as 9 over 2 right so since m over n it means that m here and it's gonna be equal to 2 over 9 and 2 over 9 you know that 2 over 1 and here we have 4.5 so it's gonna be equal to 4.5 so the question was solved value of M is equal to 4.5 see you in the next question guys